Hey, there we go. So yes, welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. All the quests. Why am I getting so many notifications? I can't claim any of them. All right. So I have done some stuff offline. Including one that I'm actually kind of impressed with. This is all set up to automatically process everything that comes out of the void ore miner. The ender chests were a pain to make, but it gets pulled out of the um, void ore miner into this chest. I'm in creative mode. Why am I in creative mode? I'm in creative mode because I had to get my stuff from lava. That's why. Um, so yeah. Everything from the void ore miner goes into this chest. It gets to, some of the stuff can't be processed in the pulverizers or any of that. So that automatically gets sent into the ME system. The banks of pulverizers are set up with filters to um, deal with different ores or stuff over here that just needs to be pulverized to get access to it. And then that is all the ore dust is automatically piped into the redstone furnaces, turned into ingots, and then piped out through the item ducts and into this chest where it is then automatically sent to um, the ME system. And let me tell you, in this mod pack, ender chests are a pain to make. Requires a lot of lumium and majestic ingots. So it was a lot of collecting obsidian and all that fun stuff to get those chests going. Sixty-four alumite ingots. So today's not going to be a hectic rush to get stuff done kind of stream. It's just sort of going to be a chill out and see where the day takes us. Though, I do have some stuff set aside to get quests done. So that'll be nice. Uh, to start with, tier 6 solar panel. which again, required majestic ingots. And I did start setting aside some stuff for the tier seven solar panel, but I realized that it needed something. What did it need that I could only get from a 
other than needing a lot of majestic ingots. I think that there was something that I needed that required I go to the moon, but I might be confusing that with another recipe. That's entirely possible. So this one will just have to wait for a while until I can start producing more majestic ingots. Hello, Hal. That notification didn't scare me at all. <laughs> Thank you for the seven months. Yep, almost a tw- God, have I actually been streaming for that long? Huh. Um, but I hope that you're doing okay. <laughs> so... I, because I had to make some of the majestic ingots to make the ender chests, I did set up the alchemical imbuer, since that is the way to make sodium hydroxide, which is water and a lot of salt. And I made a bunch of the Majestium. So that will be good. How much sodium? Hydroxide do you take? Oh, chemical compound. That's right, needed to make more of that. I have four. So it was a bit of a time-consuming process of carrying this thing around to fill it up with water, emptying it into here to get the sodium hydroxide, transporting the sodium hydroxide over to the carpenter, and I'm sure that there's ways to automate all of it. I just didn't feel like putting in the brain power. So yeah. Eventually we'll get to that point, because there is a lot of stuff down the line that we're probably going to need Majestic Ingots for. And not having to do this process repetitively would be nice. This will give us the 6,000 for the second ingot. So I'm not sure how well the internet is going to hold up today. We have a bit of a storm front moving through. Which is always fun. I have Ender, Block of Enderium. Is that a required quest to move forward? Yes, it is. Mana infused metal. Apparently I'm going to have to get more of that. Mana infused ore. 
It does come through the tier three void miner. That's right, I don't have the tier three void miner. I still only have the tier one. Tier two. Yeah, I think it's at tier two because for the tier three, easier just to search for void miner. Yeah, we need a lot of elementium and chironite. Which we have some of, not much, but some. And then also, because I was just sort of hanging around um, on the line, where did they go? They're down here. No, they're not. I had made a bunch of chrome and titanium dust. Now I have no idea where they are. That is just a little annoying. Okay, so special infused iron. There's eight. Pulverized tin and iron ingots. Or iron and quartz. That works better. Ready. So while that's processing, that's not the quest that I wanted. Boron, 64. The rest of these we're still waiting on essence for. That's what I did. So I ended up with 64 chrome ingots, 64 titanium ingots, or more. There's probably some spares in here. Yeah, there's some spare chrome. No spare titanium though. I thought that I had some. Don't know where it ended up. Not super surprising though.
Right. So the hopper hawk. Which we can do. Lag. Thank you. Let me jump up there, please. Thank you. There you are. Uh, no, didn't need the seed yet. You need the hopper, the chest, the filter. Prudentium ingot and air ruin. So that will probably be going into the ME system never to be used again. And we have the Rosa Arcana. Hold on just one second, my phone is ringing. Sorry about that. One of the fun things about applying for jobs is that you never quite know when a potential employer is going to call. You're still processing away over there. So the mana splitter, two aqua, aqua marine, eight mana steel. Going to need to make some more of that. Is it just iron? It is just iron. There's that taken care of. And then living rock, I believe was the other ingredient. Oh, casting channels. Can you not break down? That's odd. Uh, stone. A 
that's cobblestone. I don't know if that will work. We can see though. Clear up some space by getting some of those random little um, bits and bobs gone. What's in here? Apparently you can't be melted. That's interesting. So that will get that started. Uh, you can go back in there. You can go in there. Same with you. You're at 42 plates. There's a slime outside of my house again. Didn't realize it made three channels. Makes things easier. Thermal lily. Cracked lava stone, fire ruin, red petal block, infernium coal. And there's the coal. Um, flower pouch helps if I actually put it into the inventory. Need one more flower. I always miscount. So how does one make lava stone? Stone around a bucket of lava. Let's not do this on top of my wood floors. Was it five or four?
and a fire ruin. Need seeds. And I shouldn't have thrown that. Um, whatever it's called, that bucket back into the inventory. I'm not all here. I apologize. It's been a weird week. And it's only Wednesday. So there we have the thermal lily. We already have a terra steel set up in place. So we can just break that down real quick. Very good. Mana steel, ingot, mana pearl, and mana diamond are treated as thorough and items and thus would despawn after five minutes. Therefore, it is important to make sure you have enough mana to finish the ritual. Neat. One, I have the mana pool set up there. Are you? There you are. Silly slimes. All right, hopefully, this won't cause problems. It probably will. I don't remember if I have any Terra Steel sitting around in here. I probably don't. I have one. Yippee! Um, dirt can go in there. Let's go ahead and get the lava sigil. Not sure why that killed my power. That time it didn't. Filtered coal and coal. Interesting. 
three mana ingots. We'll need more mana pearls. Uh, also need the wand of the forest, which I have one in my bag. I'll talk about that setup in just a bit because I forgot to point that out too. That was something that I had started doing offline. Right, so there are the mana. Make sure that you guys are both bound there. Nope, would you guys just work? I didn't think that I was going to make that jump. Are those the ingredients that are needed? I should really know this given how often I've had to make them. Mana Diamond. So in a random topic, I finally got around to watching Hamilton. And I had thought that it was bad before with how well I knew the music for it. I'm pretty sure I now permanently have the song stuck in my head. So we'll have to wait for it to fill up a little bit before we can start making another ingot. Yeah, you can reach over here. Can you? No, you can't. But I can at least keep you guys fed. That way they'll also start filtering into these since I've been using those for tasks. Yep, you're bound there. That's where you're supposed to be. Yeah. We'll leave them to their work for a bit. Um, empty cells can go back in there. 
chrome is done so titanium can be traded out. Reorganize the inventory some. Oops. So this can be done with the Starlight Crafting Altar. You can go as well. The Celestial Gateway can also be completed with the Starlight Crafting Altar. So that is... Oh, that's right. I need the Gateway Core. Which I need an alloy that can only be found on the moon. That's the thing that I needed the moon for. Yeah. So that one we can't do yet. Mm, the Celestial Altar is in the Mage's Workshop. But the Shifting Star... That can be done in the Starlight Crafting Altar. Trying to get as much of the stuff from the quests done in the Starlight Crafting Altar that I can before upgrading it to the next one. Even if that might mean just sort of holding on to it until it can be reached. So we need an Attunement Altar. which is this bunch here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. What was the other thing? Starlight Infuser. That one does need the upgraded crafting altar. That's fine. I do still wish that there was a day bed would make doing this a bit easier So we can throw the stuff in, but we'll have to wait for the sun to set until we can actually start making the bits and pieces. I do have my slime boots on. I do. That's good. One of these days I'm not going to be thinking about it. Go to jump off here and they're not going to be on. That's going to be a little embarrassing.
So we have the wand. Now we need the shifting star. This one will probably take a little bit longer to process. Or not. And an attunement altar. I need another rock crystal. Yeah, just missed the bounce. Hopefully we don't run into too much trouble heading back up there. There's a skeleton. Oh, and I hit the tangleweed plants. Ow. platform is glowing. I didn't know it did that. So for the celestial altar, we will actually need the starlight crafting altar. I guess we're stuck. Ow. Best way to get around the map. Celestial altar. <whistles> the buckets can go back, the conversion wand can go. Spectral relays. Uh, 
What you doing out there, buddy? Why are you creeping around my house? What have I done with my arrows now? There they are. Right. Let's see if we have enough mana to make another Terra Steel ingot. Where did my wand of the forest go? There we go. Not quite. How much can a mana pool hold? I don't know. Apparently I'm out of mana in my blood network. <laughs> or uh, life points in my blood network. That hurt. So, highly advanced machine frames. Which means I would probably have to tear down... No, these are reinforced machine casings. How does one make advanced machine frames? Oh, that's not bad. Man of Steel... The attunement altar can go back there for the time being until I am ready for it. I'm going to have to build out a bigger platform in the astral sorcery, or astral sorcery area. I can talk. Where's my book? Nope, that's the infuser. That's not what I need. 
no also to the iridescent altar. We need to go into attunement. Attunement, Celestial Altar. So let's see. Some city marble. And a chisel. Where are those advanced alloy? I have too many things going on in my head. Far too many things. Which is one reason that the stream might be shorter as well. But we'll see. Eleven by five. Easiest way to get the job done without thinking. I'm going to end up punching a hole in the Aurora blocks. That will startle me. There we go. Mm -hmm. 